Uh, he hello again, geometry students. Uh, we are closing in towards the end of Unit 5. And in the 5.3, we start talking about very, very specific similar triangles. Now, now remember remember what it means to be similar. Okay, okay, remember angles, corresponding angles are congruent and then sides in proportion. So well, now we're focusing... <clears throat> Now we're focusing on, just on triangles, okay? Just on triangles, and, and I'm afraid that there's, there will be some, um, some concepts that will look similar to things we've done in the past, um, specifically in Unit 3 when we were talking about proofs and, and, and proving triangles congruent. Now... We're, we're going to talk about proving triangles similar. Okay, that's that's kind of what this section is about. All right, that's that's kind of what we're looking at. So, so let's let's look and see what we have. Okay, so if we have a triangle, and we have two angles that are congruent to two other angles, then then I can say the two triangles are similar. So so if angle A is congruent to angle F, which which they are by the markings. And B is congruent to G, which, which they are by the markings. Okay, and if, and if you remember, um, the kind of way back in, in Unit 3, the third angle theorem, well, well if two angles are equal, then, then by default, the third angles have to be equal. So then all three angles are equal. So, um, so yeah, that, that's all I need to say. Those two triangles are similar. So I would say A, B, C. Is, is similar to FGH, okay? So angle, angle is enough to tell me that those two triangles are similar, okay? So now, let's, let's look at the next one. So now if I look, um, so now if I look, do, do I have enough information to tell me these are, are similar by angle, angle? And let's, let's just look, so on this, First triangle right here, uh, this this last angle would be 75 degrees, you know, because triangles still have to add up to 180. So that means over here, this would be 48 degrees, just again by triangles adding up to 180. Um, so, so I would say yes. Yes, by angle, angle. And so I would say triangle J, K, L. And, and that's going to be similar, not congruent, but similar so if I went JKL, I would have to go Q, P, um, M. That, that would be my similarity statement right there. That's it. That's all I'm looking at right there. Um, over here for B, I'm, I'm looking at the fact that these two things are parallel. Um, so I'm going to say, you know what? I, I, because of this, I'm going to say, yeah, this angle X and this angle T are going to be congruent. This, this goes way back, way back to unit two. Um, so if I kind of look at this from this perspective, this is T, this is X. I'm saying like this angle would be congruent to this angle. Th those are called alternate interior angles. Okay, so then the second thing I'm going to say is, you know what, these two are vertical, so they have to be equal. And, and that's enough. That's enough to say, yes, those two triangles are similar, not congruent, but similar. So and I'll say, you know what, R, S, X, not equal, similar to W, S, T. That's, that's my similarity statement right there, okay? Because I have, you know, two sets of congruent angles. So now let's look at the next one. Um, side, 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 which should sound familiar to you, but it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Sides are no longer congruent. Now sides are in proportion. Sides are in proportion. So, so if I said JK over MP, if, if that is in the same proportion as JL over MQ, and if that is the same proportion as LK over QP, Okay, so, so I have all three, okay, in this, in this extended ratio, 
okay, then they're all in that same proportion and they're all equal, then the triangles are similar. So I would say triangle JLK would be similar to triangle MQP. So again, these all have to be, that's, they all have to simplify to the same ratio. Okay, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's look. So now, let's, let's consider what I'm looking at here. Okay, so the, the rule is you go short side. So this is the shortest side over here that matches up to shortest side over here. So if we consider six over four, and then we, we look at six over nine, or nine over six rather, then I have seven and a half over five. So, so do all three of those match up? Well, that's three over two. That's three over two. That's three over two. Yes. So my similarity statement becomes A, B, C matches up. So if it goes A, B, C, then I need to go D, E, C. Don't forget your triangle symbol. Tell me what shape it is. And, and that's it. That's all I'm looking at. The last one is, is a little bit trickier, but it's, it's side angle side. Again, it's, it's one that you've seen before. You might, not be, you might not remember it right away. But what I'm looking at is, is two sets of sides in proportion and the included angle. So I'm looking at angle S and angle Y. And I'm saying, okay, if SR over YX and ST over YZ, you know, that and that included angle. So it's got to be this angle if I'm using these two sides. Then I'm saying, okay, then I'll go, you know, RST is going to match up to XYZ. Again, similar, not congruent. So, so now let's take a look. So here, let's, let's see if it's flipped. Um, so, so if I go 10 over 20, that is equal to 11 over 22. Then, then I know these two are equal because they're vertical. And both of these are going to be equal to 1 half. Then, then I would say yes, absolutely. I would say triangle... TZW. Okay, TZW is going to be similar to triangle. So if I go TZW, then I need to go YXW. Okay, that's 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 my that's my statement right there. But now be very very picky, be very careful about uh, how you write it because if how you write it, um, make make sure that they correspond. Okay, so, so T matches up to Y, Z matches up to X, and, and W matches up to W. Um, for, for B over here, now, you must be careful, okay, because you've got, you know, you've got short triangle where this is M, 10, and 12, but, but then you've got this large triangle where this is, is 25, and this whole thing is 30. Now, M is part of both triangles. Okay, so M is equal to itself. So, so now I must, I must look, you know, is 10 over 25, is that the same thing as 12 over 30? Well, if I simp that simplifies to two-fifths. You know, if I multiply both, both of these by 6, that also becomes two-fifths. So those are equal. So what, what does my similarity statement look like? Well... If I go triangle M and P, that will be similar to triangle M, okay, because M matches up with M, but then I go all the way down to R and back over to S. That is what my similarity statement will look like. Okay. Again, being picky, N and R correspond, P and S correspond, M obviously corresponds to itself. So now let's look. Okay, in the figure, ADB is a right angle. Okay, and they've been nice enough to mark that for us. Which of the following would not be sufficient to prove that triangle ADB 
is similar to triangle CDB. Okay, okay, so let's look. So we have, let, let me redraw this. So I have A, D, B. Okay, then, then I'm saying I have that ADB is, is similar to the short one of, of C, uh, C, D, B. Okay, and you know that they, you know that these are both right angles. Okay, so now let's let's see what I got. So now they're saying, well, A D over B D. So the this one and this one, and then B D over C D. So this one and this one. Um. That that would be fine. That this would be enough to tell me that would be a fine answer. But remember, I'm looking for not helpful. Okay, not helpful. So let's keep looking. So if I look at B. A, B over B, C. So A, B over B, C. And then B, D over C, D. Okay, well, now let's look. So I got these two kind of like the long sides, the hypotenuse. And then this side. So, you know, I, I still don't have an S, S, A. I don't have side, side, side. I don't want, they're not equal, they're in proportion. Side, side, angle. So I'm going to say it's B. B is the one that doesn't help me. Okay, so here, you know, A, A B, D, you know, if I said these two angles were congruent, then, then I would be fine. That'd be angle, angle. And this one, all the sides, so yeah, that would definitely be helpful. B is going to be the only one that doesn't help me. It does give me two sides, but that's not enough. You've got to tell me more. Okay, so now they tell us these two are parallel. Okay, if that, that's enough to say um, if these two are parallel, then then the two triangles are for sure similar. Okay, okay, just, you know, the, like these two are equal, these two are equal. That's enough to tell me they're similar. So a scale factor here, um, depending on how you write it, I, I would almost call it 4 over 10. Okay, so you're kind of going from this big triangle to the small triangle. Um, so I would go 4 over 10, but then like 4 over 10 would be equal to x plus 3 over 2x plus 10. So, doing some cross products, okay, and I, I skipped a step, I distributed. So subtract 8x, subtract 8x, subtract 30. Subtract 30, 10, 2x. So I get x equals 5. But they want rq and qt. So if x equals 5, so then this becomes 5 plus 3. So, so the rq is just going to be 8. Yeah, that's just it's just going to be 8. And then, and then uh, QT, 2 times 5 plus 10. So 10 plus 10, that's going to be 20. So there's your answers. 8 and 20. All of this set up by, by recognizing that these two, that the two triangles are similar. Okay, and then matching up 4 and 10, X plus 3 and 2X plus 10. Okay? Okay. So likewise here, we're, we're assuming we're assuming these two are parallel. Okay, we're assuming these two are parallel. So, you know, they're, they're obviously con congruent. Um, so they want to know the length of the lake. So we have this 40 kind of matches up with Y. And, and then I would say like 50 matches up with 200. Okay, so I'm going to say like 50 matches up with 200. That's going to be equal to 40 over the lake. So, simple, easy simplifying. Um, that would be 5y equals 40 times 20. So 40 times 20 should be 800. So now doing some division there. I should get an answer of 160. 
which which on some level I hope makes sense. One sixty is that number. Yeah, that 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 tracks, that tracks. Okay, I'm not asking you to do full proofs of these things, but I I am asking you to kind of take some time trying to recognize them. Um, so please play around with this, kind of get comfortable with it, then take care of your quizzes, and come to me with any questions. Thank you.